Yeah, the gun ban in Illinois is unconstitutional on so many uh, different levels other than just the Second Amendment of the United States uh, Constitution, but also Section 22 of the Illinois Constitution, which clearly states, and it's written to the police powers, that the right of the people have the right to keep and bear arms. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the people I've talked to in the last, well, whenever they started out, that it is, they agree with me. It's unconstitutional; should not be. But then, you know, I don't think it'll be enforced. But there again, you don't know. And if it is, there'll be a lot of problems. Might pass one in all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I don't think it will get scarred up. You don't play around too bad. Well, sure, go, thank sir. you. Appreciate thank it. You. you have a good one. You too. This would be a good one. This one's yeah. a left. <laughs> The whole thing is completely unconstitutional. The pro one of the problems is people that write the laws don't know anything about firearms. Uh, I think a lot of people are af afraid because there's a lot of information out there that's uh, conflicting. So people really don't know what they can do and what they can't do. Uh, we expect the Illinois State Rifle Association will go to court try to get an injection, try to get the whole thing overturned. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. See y'all want to. Ah, the band. All, all these people are calling these weapons of war, weapons of destruction. Uh, as a combat veteran, I would not take any weapon that they have on this list in the combat. It would be absurd. I, I wouldn't last a minute on the combat field. These are not weapons of war. These are everyday sporting rifles, everyday shooting activities, you know. That's the only reason why. That's why they were one of the last days to finally get it.